Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tridman, and today I'm going to be showing you how to actually install FFmpeg so you can start rendering videos out in your replay mod for Minecraft. First, go to ffmpeg.org. Once you're on this screen, click download. Then you're going to want to choose which operating system you're on. I'm on Windows, and next you want to click Windows by Guyan. It'll bring you to this page. You're going to want to go down to the Git master builds and click on mirror at GitHub. And all you would need to actually render out your videos for FFmpeg is this essentials build right here. Make sure you click the dot zip unless you have something like WinRAR or 7-zip to unzip these files. But just go ahead and press zip. If you don't, wait for it to download. Next, open up your file. And now you're just going to want to extract this. So just click on it and copy it and put it in your C drive program files, 86. I already have it installed in here, but all you want to do is uh, left click and press paste and it'll extract over. So once you do that, you just need to find FFmpeg. I have it right here. You're going to have a bunch of numbers and letters after it. All you're going to want to do is rename it and just rename it FFmpeg. Next, you're going to want to go to Minecraft. I'm assuming you guys already have Fabric or whatever you used and the replay mod already installed. If you guys don't know how to do that, let me know if you want to see a video on how to actually install a mod and install the replay pack. Replay mod, sorry. So like I said, just open up your Minecraft folder. Um, mine's on my fabric loader that I have the replay mod on. So I'm just going to go ahead and press play, wait for it to load. Now, when you go to your replay viewer, you can select, you need to have at least one, um, replay. So you can just go into a world for a couple seconds and record something, but then you're going to want to load one of your clips and just make some keyframes. It doesn't really matter what you do. Just do this, do this. Doesn't really matter. And then you're going to want to go to this button right here, render camera path. And when you're in render camera path, this is what we're going to need to change. Yours is going to be blank. So now what you want to do is bring up your FFmpeg. Let me go back to my program files. Go to FFmpeg. Go to your bin. And you're going to want to right click this and click on properties and this is what you're going to copy and paste into this command right here and then on the end of that what you paste you're going to want to do a backslash ffmpeg.exe so when you paste it in it's only going to paste in this right here but then on the end you're going to want to add another slash ffmpeg.exe into right here and once you've done that you're done all you got to do is press render and it'll actually render your clips and you know whatever you have going in the replay mod you'll actually be able to render your video and view it and edit it and do whatever you want hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial like i said if you guys want to see how to actually download the replay mod in fabric uh, let me know down in the comments. I can definitely help you guys out with that. If you did like this tutorial, please subscribe and like the video for more content like this. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one.